Haitian food is the best type of food. I said it, period. It's above me now. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the family, honey. Go ahead and make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you can be officially part of the Taja family. We got a little mukbang going on. This is really like my dinner for the day, y'all. It's like nothing big, um, but it's stuff that was homemade, cooked here. I'm about to eat some Haitian food, okay? We eating some Haitian food today, period, period. I've got some plantain and pickles. So, bonne pesé avec pickles. All my Haitians, y'all know what this is. We've got some rice, y'all. This is a really, really popular dish in Haiti. This is one of our rice, and it has okra in it. And then my mom made this special touch. She added some carrots, onions, green peas, and mushroom in this rice. We've got some wings. We've got some, um, what should I call this? Some ribs, some beef ribs. And then here we've got a souffle maï, okay? And in like, hey, my Haitians know this. So we drinking Jumex. Reason why I'm drinking Jumex today is because growing up in Haiti, this was, <laughs> this was, I used to drink this a lot. Um, we made a lot of homemade drinks in Haiti, you know, like, Kisiji Papai, Shikuna Zin. We always had our own juice that we made from scratch. But um, when we didn't have that, I would be drinking Jumex. So let me pour me a little bit of this because I want me some right now. This is the apricot nectar. It's pretty good. Before we start with this food, I'm going to go ahead and bless this food. Father God, I want to thank you for this food and the nourishment that it's going to provide into our body. I want to ask you to bless the hands of the people that prepared it. Thank you for always, always, always blessing and protecting us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. So, let's get started, you guys. Now, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Y'all, these wings is probably, like, my favorite thing of all of this right now. Mm. I want to give a good shout out to my mom because she prepared this food okay and she put all of her blessing on to it honey but let me pickles traditional haitian dish if you're haitian you know this this is one of my favorite what you do is you take the pickles the pickles is a cabbage mix you put carrots cabbage some onions vinegar hot pepper like like really hot pepper it's really spicy mm. You can eat this with plantain, or you can eat this with, with rice, and other dishes as well. I wish I had a Haitian restaurant around me to order a bunch of food, but I don't. Oh my god! Mmm, mmm, mmm. Haitian food is the best type of food. I said it. Here we get, you know what I'm saying? I, and I don't expect this to be it for, for everybody else, but I've tried other Caribbean food too, but Haitian food to me is the best hands down. So like for Haitian meats, let's talk a little bit about Haitian meats. A lot of people can ask me, well, what's the difference between Haitian food and like other Caribbean foods? A lot of it comes from the spices. Like, you know, from Jamaican, they're really big on their jerk seasonings their type of seasoning you know like jerk or curry haitian seasonings honey you'll be wondering where these spices are from or you can find them anywhere else i sound like a food critic right now <laughs> on the food um, network but the stuff that everything that we cook is so like organic and homemade and that we take our time to grow it you get like the pure taste out of everything it's crazy so you guys check out that video so i want y'all to comment down below 
let me know qui favorite qui mange à ici copier me femme connait whether that's a whole dish whether that's one thing what is it for me my favorite favorite haitian dish is poisson fruit which is fried fish and i'm talking about the big whole fish with the hey good haitian seasoning deep fried my grandma usually does this for me but on perze pickles if you want to do on the side i want to do like but i'm not a big rice person so i like my plantain i like my macaroni gratiné you know zizi shake you know what i'm saying mm. ça son mari souffle lui il est vraiment bon you know who's a big fan of, of the station food my boyfriend He's from South Carolina. He's not Haitian. A lot of people ask me that. <clears throat> but he loves him some Haitian food, y'all. Mm. A little background about me. So I was born and raised in Haiti. Port-au-Prince. I moved to the States when I was about 16. 17. No, about about sixteen. And when I moved to the States I um did my junior year of high school. My senior year of high school and then I went to college. You guys know I studied dental hygiene in college. It took me about four years and brings us to now. So I definitely tried to bring on that culture here with me. So you guys I did ask you guys to ask me a couple of questions on Instagram while I'm filming this video I can get to answer some of them so one question says how do you keep your skin glowing like that well thank you sometimes I don't feel like it's glowing I, I don't feel the glow a lot of times because I feel like my skin has its good times but um so thankfully for me I've never really had sensitive skin I never really had a, a, a big skin routine. I just never had sensitive skin, so my skin always was clear and it was easy for me to maintain. But now I have more of a routine. I use like some oils for my skin, which I have a video on that on my channel if you want to check it out. My skin don't break out much, you know? So, do you feel that being a dental hygienist is hard? That dental hygiene is hard. The school process is absolutely ridiculously hard yes i do feel that way now once you get out there in the real world and you start working it's not gonna be as hard but the school process is hard it is really hard it's competitive you gotta put your all into it and you gotta grind you gotta study you gotta do the work but i would say it you can do it if i can do it so can you is it hard yes but don't let that make you doubt yourself or question if you are the good fit for dental hygiene or not associates or bachelor's in dental hygiene what would you recommend i got my associates in dental hygiene because i went to a community college but if you're going to a university you're going to get your bachelor's automatically if you're being offered your bachelor's go ahead and take it don't even say nah i'm gonna do my associates go ahead and take your bachelor's but really in dental hygiene there's not a big difference between having your associates and your bachelor's the main difference is really if you want to teach dental hygiene or do some community work then you would be a better fit to get your bachelor's but i love that hair on you what products did you use to style it thank you so i just um recorded a video on this hair um do you get decent money straight out of school being a dental hygienist my answer is yes reason why i'm saying yes is because when you compare for me personally when i compared how much money i was making before in my previous jobs to my first dental hygiene paycheck honey i don't know how to act okay my first dental hygiene paycheck i was shook i was like hold on it was probably three four months of what i was thinking at my previous job combined it was that big of a difference for me so girl i got me ex i got so excited with this money the first couple of months of my dental hygiene pictures, I'll put down payment on a car, put down payment on a new apartment. So your lifestyle changed, you know? 
my lifestyle changed. So I think it is it is pretty good money. It depends on where you live at. If y'all want to know, if you guys want to know, it was at this moment that she knew she fucked up. Oh my god! What? Oh my god! Uh, that pepper is what, babe? Yeah, this big green pepper, y'all. This probably the pepper you're using, like the hot pepper challenge, like for real. You you're supposed to put like a little bit of that pepper in your food. My mama put the whole thing, and I thought it was okra. And I started chewing it. Mm. I need more juice. Now, what would she do me like that? Someone asked, um, how did you make a career decision? It wasn't too hard for me to make a decision because... First of all, I knew I wanted to go into the health field. I wasn't sure exactly where at first. I knew I wanted to do something in the health field and then um, I remember looking into what my school offered because I went to a community college school and I was looking into it and I noticed that they offered dental hygiene. I was like, I think I want to do this. I was like, it's in the dental field because I didn't want to be a nurse. I really, really, really was interested in it. The more I looked into it, the more I became interested in it. So I was like, why not? And then I went to my advisor and I told her, hey, this is what I'm thinking. This is why I want. Okay, if this is something that you truly want to go for and you truly want to do, go for it with an open mind, with a positive mind, and just knowing that you're going to give it your all. Once you give it your all and once you put yourself in a position to do nothing else but succeed is gonna come towards you trust me what is your favorite thing about a dental hygienist my favorite thing is seeing how I have a big impact on helping my patient everything that revolves around the patient makes me happy because I can see that I can help people I can help people become more confident I can help people gain access to oral health it's just and then my relationships with my patient definitely make it it makes it like worth it for me that's the best part for me is my relationship with my patients and how I can help them if y'all enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if y'all want more mukbangs Haitian food mukbangs let me know in the comments down below what food y'all want me to try next for like a Haitian food mukbang I might post this video today y'all okay so yeah, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to be part of the family. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Minus the little incident with the pepper. The roof of my mouth is burning like crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and end this. I will be seeing you guys pretty soon in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I love you all so, so much. Mwah. Bye, guys.